In this next series, we're going to explore how you can build a custom renderer using Vue 3. Our custom renderer is going to be targeting PDF. So the goal is going to be able to take some Vue code and produce a PDF at the end. There's not many resources on custom renderers, which is one of the reasons I'm choosing to cover this content. However, it is going to be a fairly technical one, and this series is probably going to be a little bit longer and more complex than my usual content. Anyway, let's get, a, get on with it and figure out what we need to do and what we'd like to achieve. So what I'm going to do is design an API like this. We're going to have two custom components, view and text. And we're going to also allow for custom styles. And given some kind of input like this, the goal is going to be to render a PDF that looks like this. So we're going to not only have our kind of custom components, view and text, we're also going to implement a kind of cascading style system, which will be familiar to web developers. You can see in this case, we have a nested view and this one has a color of red. And inside of that, we have a text node and that's going to inherit the red color from the outside. So that's going to be rendered as red. These next two nodes have their own style. So they're going to render as blue and green. And you can see this node down here hasn't got any style applied to it. So it's going to inherit from a default style sheet. In this case, we're going to make it black. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the virtual DOM and its relationship to a custom renderer. Let's say we have something like this. We have a div with a nested span and we're conditionally going to render show if visible is true. In this case, visible is false. So we might have a virtual DOM that looks something like this. Of course, a real virtual DOM is much more complex. This is just a very simple implementation or for demonstration purposes. In this case, we have a div. It's going to have a nested span where visible is false and that's going to have a show text node. View is then going to take this and based on the renderer, figure out what needs to be rendered. In this case, we just need to render a div and that's very simple. Now, if we come along and change visible to be true, Vue's reactivity system is going to kick in and notify the virtual DOM that something has changed. It then is going to go and update the virtual DOM and the current state is going to look something like this. We're going to have the div, we're going to have the span and we're going to have the show text and now visible has become true. So what we need to do is figure out how to update the DOM to represent the new virtual DOM state. So previously we had this div and now we have a div. It has a nested span with a text node inside it. So what we need to do when we're building a custom renderer is to find the relevant node operations to update our, our output to be the correct state. In this case, four things need to happen. We need to have a create element. We're going to create that new span. We're then going to create the text, which is the inner text show. Finally, we're going to insert the show text into span, and then we're going to insert the span into that pre-existing div, and that's going to go from this old state to this new state. So our goal is going to be doing something similar, but instead of targeting the DOM, we're going to be targeting a PDF renderer. With this in mind, we can define a custom renderer as such. A custom renderer must define the necessary node operations to output the interface for the target platform. In our case, the target platform is going to be a PDF. Let's jump over to the Vue 3 source code and have a look and see if we can get some clues on how to build our own custom renderer. You can see here, I'm in the Vue Next monorepo. And this monorepo structure makes it a lot easier to build custom renderers than it was previously because everything is much more modular and loosely coupled. You can see here we have the compilers, we then have the reactivity system and the runtime. We're most interested in the runtime. This is what defines what happens when the actual code is executed in the target environment. So it can be the DOM. You can see we have a runtime DOM here, or in our case, we're going to have a runtime PDF. If we dump inside of the runtime core, the readme, give a very, uh, the readme gives us a very simple hint on how to build our own custom renderer. It's not exactly the most detailed thing, but it's better than nothing. You can see here we need to call the create renderer function, and this is going to return a very familiar create app function. And that's how you're going to create your app with your custom renderer. You can see there's a number of functions being passed in here, and these are what's called node operations. Let's go ahead and see the runtime DOM, which is a kind of custom render, I suppose, and see how they've implemented the, run uh, implemented the node operations. So I'm going to jump over here. You can see I'm in view next, packages, runtime DOM, source, node operations. And this is all the different node operations required to represent an interface in the browser. You can see we have insert, and that's the one we talked about earlier when you're inserting an element to the DOM. We have remove, which is obviously the opposite of insert. We have things like create element and create text. And we have a number of other node operations as well, since there's parent node, next sibling, query selector, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to need to do is implement node operations, but instead of targeting the DOM, we're going to be targeting the PDF. And we're going to be doing this by using a library called PDF Kit, which is a PDF renderer. And that's going to work great with Node.js. 
uh, we're going to not only have to, we're not going to have to define all of these node operations, we're just going to define them as we need them for our particular use case. So let's go ahead now and get started. If you'd like to follow along, you can either come over to GitHub and just grab the code, it's available now. Alternatively, you can type the code as well. And if that's what you'd like to do, you need to go ahead and install these dependencies. Obviously, we're going to need Vue. We're going to use TypeScript, which is going to make it a lot easier given how complex a custom renderer can be. We're going to use TS node to execute that. We have PDF kit, as we mentioned earlier, we're going to use that to target the PDF. And we have a few more other dependencies as well. Let's jump into the next lecture and start writing the very start of our custom renderer.